Hey puppet fans, it's Brad from Paper Heart Puppets, and today we're going to be learning how to make a dinosaur out of stuff that you probably already have around the house. Here's what you're gonna need. First, some cardboard. Now that can be the corrugated kind that you find in a moving box or a shipping box like this, or the thin stuff that they use to make cereal boxes or a box of macaroni and cheese. Some white paper for the details. I'm using cardstock, which is a little bit thicker. Uh, construction paper would work, but any kind of white paper should do the job. You'll need something sticky to put all the parts together. Uh, some glue or some tape or a piece of used chewing gum. All right, maybe not that. But uh, I know not everybody can get out right now, so uh, you'll be able to put this together using whatever you have, although tape is best if you have some on hand. A pencil, so you can draw out all the shapes. Bonus points if you've got an eraser. Everybody makes mistakes. You'll need something thin and flexible to put your moving parts together, like some string or yarn or even a couple of twist ties. You'll need some scissors to cut everything out. Be careful, scissors are sharp. And you might want a marker just to add some of those little details at the end. You're gonna need five cardboard shapes to make this puppet. First, the body. That's the torso and the head, and you're just gonna wanna make the top part of the mouth here, uh, just like a big old snout. Then, you're gonna need a piece for the lower jaw. Uh, notice that we're making it big enough to be the lower jaw and also a little bit extra here on the inside. We're gonna need that later for the part that makes the mouth move. You'll need a long rectangle. We're gonna be using this to control the puppet's mouth. Make it almost as tall as the whole puppet body. If you're using corrugated cardboard, make sure the ribs run the long way down your long rectangle. And finally, we'll need our little details like the arm and the tail. Use your pencil to draw all the shapes on the cardboard. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you can always just erase them. Then, carefully cut them out using the scissors. If you get stuck, just cut in from the side of the piece until you get to where you stopped. That should make it a lot easier to keep going. Now that we've got our pieces, we can put them together. Start with the jaw. Draw a dot right in the center of the piece, and then another one near that rounded back edge. Next, we're going to make holes right where we drew those dots. If your cardboard is soft enough, you can use the point of your pencil. Watch out for your fingers on the other side. We only want to make holes in the cardboard. If you're having trouble, get an adult to help you use something a little more sharp and another hole close to the end of that long rectangle. Take one piece of string and pull it about halfway through the hole at the edge of your jaw piece. Then fold it over and attach it to the back side of that piece. If you're using glue, you might need to wait for this to dry before you go on to the next step. Put a little dot where you want your jaw to attach to the head. Attach your second piece of string so that half of it is stuck to the head and the other half is sticking out right where you drew that dot. Thread the rest of that string through the middle of the jaw piece and attach it to the back. Take the string sticking out of the back of the jaw and thread it through the hole at the end of your long rectangle, attaching it to the back. Now flip it over and we can add all of our detail. I cut out a circle for my eye here, and we can glue on the arm and the tail, and then add anything else we think our dinosaur needs. I gave this one an eyebrow. It can be angry or sad, whatever you want. Oh, 
Don't forget the teeth. And there's your dinosaur, ready for any story that you want to tell. <laughs> But you don't have to make a dinosaur. You can use this method to make anything you want. A dragon, or a dog, or a robot. Let your imagination go crazy. Thanks everybody for watching my first ever video puppet lesson. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your feedback down in the comments so that I can make the next one even better. If you did enjoy it, please pass it on to other people you think might like it. And of course, if you want to support the project, look in the description for a link to my Patreon, and that'll help guarantee that more videos keep coming. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. <laughs>